mother always told me, she always said, listen, if a boy doesn't like you, okay, it is just because he is intimidated by your beauty because you are the most beautiful girl in the whole world. And if you would stop doing impersonations of me, maybe other people could see that. I like to do different voices in my act because my own voice does not command the respect and the attention that I believe I deserve. <laughs> I go into some fancy shop and say, hi, can I get some help? They'd be like, no, little girl. <laughs> We're not serving little girls today. <laughs> <laughs> but you know if I went in there and was like, Hi, what's your name, Cindy? Cindy, I need to speak with your manager. Thanks a lot, sweetheart. I, uh, I used to work in an office, and I miss the excitement. Miss the excitement, waking up every day. I didn't know if I was gonna go in and file something, or <laughs> type something, or like, file something I just typed. I decided that the worse the job is, the more excited the temporary representative seems to be about it. Hello, Maria. This is from Judy from TRC Staffing in Glendale. Good morning. I have an incredible opportunity here for you today. Five dollars an hour, alphanumeric filing in an industrial warehouse. I thought of you first. I kept expecting it to get worse. Hello, Maria. This is Judy. Tijuana, Mexico, loading fruit trucks. You need to be there in a half hour. Corporate dress. <laughs> Hello, Marie, this is it. I have a feeling. Temp to perm, Thailand. You are sold into prostitution, but there is free parking. <laughs> oh. I used to have this really creepy, creepy boss. He always come up to me and say stuff like, I really like it when you wear your hair like that. <laughs> uh, why don't you come in the meeting? Uh, take shorthand, cheer up the guys with your pretty face. <laughs> come on, smile for me. You look so much more beautiful when you smile. <laughs> like, I go in his office and say stuff like, Hi, I really love the way your gray, curly neck hair comes up over the edge of your peach, poly, weave, sweat stained sports shirt. Mmm. Why don't you come in my cubicle and tell me more about my partial dental benefits after 90 days? <laughs> come on, smile for me. The fact that I net $6.49 an hour to provide you with the sexual stimulation you're not man enough to get in your personal life is so much more apparent when you smile. I, uh, as I'm getting older, um, I realize all my dreams are not gonna come true. My mom always wanted me to be Miss America. And there's never been a Miss America whose talent has been stand-up. And I think I could have been a contender. As your Miss America, I travel to chuckle buckets all over this great country, spreading awareness about the fact that airline food is of a poorer quality than regular food. Hey, what's up with that? <laughs> and to all those little girls out there, I tell them to keep reaching for the stars, because those are the only people who can help you. That you to take off your top, you just say, hey, jackass, you're confusing a comedy club with the place where your mama works. Thank you! Thank you. My girlfriend's having an anniversary with me, and I didn't realize. She's been with me four years, but I've only been with her for like eight months. <laughs> I didn't realize I'd go out with the bitch till like recently. <laughs> I told her that she is the fourth most important thing in my life. 
Is that so bad? One is me. I'm better than her. <laughs> Two is my career. That's above you. Come on, let's be honest, ladies. With it, we both can eat. Without it, neither one of us can eat. And with it, at least I can eat. So that's above you. <laughs> Uh, three is my mother, and if she dies, her memory is third. So you'll never be above my mother. <laughs> Fourth is you. And fifth is my favorite leather jacket. <laughs> and she's getting old, too. She's over 30. 30 is retirement age for women. <laughs> Let's be honest, ladies. Vagina's value is like cars. It ain't like houses. You ever kiss an old one? It's like licking an alligator's stomach. <laughs> Look at this punk ass crowd. All the guys are like, oh, I feel like laughing, but I can't. This is, room is infested with vaginas. Come on, ladies, you gotta realize by now, we're all adults that we don't like you. Men just don't like you. You're unlikable, not funny, you're sicking us. You ever have your woman come home and try to tell you a story? Whew. You want to know what happened to me today at work? Oh! <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> but you got to listen, because women are the worst terrorists there are, because they hold a vagina hostage, and they threaten to kill it if you don't listen to this dumb story. <laughs> I make my girl tell me the end of the story first. <laughs> whoa, 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 what happened? Somebody got shot. And I go, oh, all right, all right. She starts off with like, yeah, you know my friend Sharon? <laughs> nah, I don't. <laughs> Here's another 10 minute story about how I remember Sharon. You know Sharon? <laughs> you know, we went to the cookout, what are you doing? <laughs> That's what you're here to do, is just be fire breathing parrots and ruin man fun. As soon as you see man fun, <laughs> Let me, let me be honest with you, ladies. This is something you'll never hear. You'll never hear this. This is something that's never been said in the history of the globe. Four guys hanging out at a party by themselves, and one of them goes, hey, you know what would make this party even better? If my girl was here. <laughs> I gotta go, man. Y'all take care. See you later. Thank you very much. <laughs>